after the news broke this morning that Brittany Griner had been released from Russia after nine months spent in a prison cell for bringing illegal drugs into the country, nearly everyone with half a brain was pretty critical of Joe Biden, not because he brought Brittany Griner home, but because of who he gave up to make that happen. He gave up Victor Bout, a notorious arms dealer, basically the most highly coveted prisoner that we have for Russia. That's who he gave up all to get WNBA star, American hating Brittany Griner back home while we left an American Marine, a former Marine Paul Whelan there. He is still in Russia. He's been there for over four years and will continue to be there because Joe Biden decided to prioritize Brittany Griner. Everyone's been critical of this, but you knew Donald Trump would also get his two cents in there, and he absolutely did. Donald Trump calls Joe Biden's prisoner swap for Brittany Griner a stupid and unpatriotic embarrassment. Former President Donald Trump slammed Joe Biden's Brittany Griner prisoner swap as stupid and unpatriotic. Issuing the statement on Truth Social, Trump said the swap was a bad deal because Biden traded an ex-WNBA basketball star for notorious Russian arms dealer Victor Bout, one of the biggest arms dealer anywhere in the world. And we can go straight to Truth Social, actually, uh, to take a look at Trump's statement. What kind of deal is it to swap Brittany Griner, a basketball player who openly hates our country, for the man known as, quote, the merchant of death? who's one of the biggest arms dealer anywhere in the world and responsible for tens of thousands of deaths and horrific injuries and was convicted for trying to harm American citizens and will continue to try to harm American citizens and American interests now that he's been released. Why wasn't former Marine Paul Whelan included in this totally one-sided transaction? He would have been let out for the asking. What a stupid and unpatriotic embarrassment for the United States of America. This is not the only person who's critical of this. It's not just like Donald Trump's bashing Biden. Uh, there's a ton of criticism from all around, even in the sports world, even from some sports commentators saying, you know, we're, we're glad Britney's home, but it's kind of sad that we left a Marine there. Let's really work on getting this Marine back. Paul Whelan's never coming home. We gave up our biggest bargaining chip, and all we got back was a pothead, Brittany Griner, who hates America, who doesn't want to stand for the national anthem. And let's be honest, the reason that Paul Whelan is still there is because he's white, because he's a man. Brittany Griner supposedly is a woman and, of course, is black and openly gay. That's why Joe Biden and the Biden administration decided to prioritize her identity politics. And really, all the action from the woke WNBA, the woke sports media, all these people who are pushing for the release of Brittany Griner, they likely made it more difficult to get her back. They are probably the ones that made the asking price so high to get her back, to give up the biggest piece that we had to trade. And that's what we do. Donald Trump is not alone in this criticism, but his certainly is going to be very, very loud and directed solely at Joe Biden in this Biden administration. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.